Welcome back to Read Between the Lines as we look forward to the year 2015, a huge year in sports for us fans. And we invite you, as always, to give us your opinion, share your thoughts, and tweet us. Welcome back on RBTL full panel this week with David Hurley, Pierre Evans Just, and Anthony Cornelli. Gentlemen, I will start with my pretender and contender. I will start with a contender, and that would be the Toronto Raptors. I think the Raptors have shown through the course of a little bit more than a quarter of the season that they have not only the depth, but they have the guys off the bench who can get it done. Um, the Eastern Conference, the nucleus of a lot of these teams are not the same. I think they've got a nucleus that's tight. I think coaching is doing well. I think that the vibe in Toronto is well. The fans are engaged on it. On the flip side, uh, my pretender would be the Golden State Warriors, believe it or not. Wow. Yeah, I, 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 no I'm going to get a lot of flack. Yeah. The idea behind the Golden State Warriors is there's no doubt that they've had a historic start in their season. And they're a deep team and potential an MVP candidate yes. on that team as well. Yeah. The question is, with a stacked Western Conference and with the, the grind of a long playoff run, can they sustain that? Yeah. They're a young team. They're an inexperienced team. I think this year is all about learning. Next year, they'll be the big threat. Hmm. That's, That's a good one. I'm going with my contender. I got to make a couple of my old friends happy with this. I'm going with my old guard, Juventus, uh, in 2015, with a couple of big signings yeah. in the transfer market. I think we got a favorable draw in the Champions League with Borussia, that they're struggling in the German League. If we can get through Borussia and pick up maybe the winner of Basel, yeah, Porto, Porto yeah. we get a semifinal in the Champions League. We're going to run away with our fourth title in a row in Italy, and we got a favorable draw in the Coppa Italia. So hopefully we'll be the first team to put a silver star for a 10th Coppa Italia and have our three stars for our 32 I love, championships. I love how you say we. Yes, I I'm we. I'm part of it. I'm black, <laughs> I, and I'm black and white. My pretender, I'm have to go with Mr. Falcao of Ooh. Manchester United. I think when he didn't get to go to Real Madrid, he's a little baby, signed for the second biggest team in world football. He's coming into his own, but he'll be out of he'll be out of Man U in a couple of years, and people are gonna say, you know what, he should have stayed in. We'll take him for a couple of years. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Here. Uh, for myself, my contender is, and my pretender are the same person. For me, it's Adonis Stevenson. It, it, it was a no-brainer. Uh, a lot of talk in the last couple of weeks, especially leading up to the fight. And he, he did great. He knocked out a guy that he was supposed to knock out. It was, it was a mere formality. But as a champion, it's very seldom in boxing history that the guy that's looked at as the champion, the lineal champion, is is not recognized as such by the masses. And for Adonis Stevenson, it's the only reason why is he hasn't fought the best guys in, in his division. Now, he, he, he does have a prime opportunity to fight either the winner the winner of uh, Pascal uh, Kovalev. And he not only does he have to fight that guy, but he has to look great because it's a, it's a, it's a make it or break it year. He's yeah. closer to 40 than he is to 30, and uh, he has to deliver. Well, I'm going to go with my contender of the year. My contender of the year is going to be David De Gea. Uh, what he's done at Manchester United is being the youngest goalkeeper, and he's going to be one of the world's best. He's going to be beat Neuer as being uh, the best goaltender in the world, I think, in the next year. Uh, I think 2015 will be a big year for Manchester United. They'll have to climb back into the top four, get back into the Champions League. So we'll see some, some nice things. And my pretender of the year goes to a man who shafted the Oakland Raiders in Jim <laughs> Harbaugh. Uh, have fun in Michigan. You're not going to win. You're going to have a hard time in the Big Ten. You're going to lose to Urban Meyer in, in Ohio State year in, year out, like the tradition goes for Michigan. So thank you for shafting, uh, for shafting Oakland, but, but, but enjoy but, yourself in Michigan. You're not going to win. Was a Raiders fan. <laughs> that was going to be. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I'm, I'm a Raiders fan. I'm a little bit bitter, but uh, okay. he, he's leaving the pro ranks to go to college. It's going to see it's not the same. Real quickly before we uh, go to break, is there a reason or a, a, a understatement of why this has happened? I know that you, you uh, claim maybe Why did was... he go back? It's yeah, his alma mater. He, he played there. Uh, he won his brightest team to a number two ranking when he was with Bo Schemblecker. Uh, Personal attachment Black, Matt Clear. Wow, it's a long name to say. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's, it's his alma mater, and then he wants to go back, and he wants to revive that program and bring it into one of the top in the nation. On that note, gentlemen, it was great to see you. I uh, look forward to a great 2015. Thanks for taking the time. Thanks. Stay with us after the break. My one-on-one, -on -one, my face-off against the very polarizing Stefan Petri. You don't want to miss it. Stay with us.